the sightings that were talked about are all fairly old. What's happened more recently? Uh, well, I, I don't want to jump if you had to say something, Robert. Uh, recently, let's say uh, 2010, there was a shutdown of 50 missiles at Francis E. Warren Air Force Base. Uh, this was announced by the Air Force. It was announced that it was a, eventually announced that it was a computer glitch. Uh, now, um, I'm very wary about that. I'm, I'm not sure I believe that, but we do have witnesses that have come forward, both civilian and Air Force, that said they saw an object in the sky at the time of these shutdowns. This is still being investigated, but these incidents are still going on. They used to be reported by the uh, press. I don't see reports now in the public media. Do they just not report them because of the climate, the uh, psychological climate that we're in? Or are there no sightings recently? Uh, I've seen no reports well, recently. Uh, I'd just like to mention a couple of things with regard to that. Uh, it was mentioned previously there were, uh, in the Bentwaters panel, they talked about personnel reliability reporting, where they keep tabs on people involved with, with nuclear weapons and make sure they stay reliable. So uh, this is one way the Air Force is applying pressure not to report these things. But we certainly know, and uh, from, from reports we're getting from time to time, that these incidents are continuing. Uh, but that's one of the reasons I think uh, Mr. Fenstermacher noted that uh, some of their people were very reluctant to report what they saw. And I'm sure that had to do with the PRP program. Mr. Bartlett, if I may uh, just respond to your question, why no coverage? Because you're, you've asked a question that's very close to my own heart. Uh, I began researching UFOs about 20 years ago out of personal curiosity and uh, became quickly drawn right into it. And uh, I, what, the thing that struck me right away was the vast discrepancy between what appeared to be something very, very serious and extraordinary and scientifically fascinating and politically of the highest level of importance between that and the fact that no academic or mainstream media would really have the courage to take it seriously. Uh, what you find with this topic is that when you ask yourself one simple question, that leads you to about a dozen other questions. And each one of those questions leads you to a dozen more. It just keeps going. It doesn't stop. Um, I've, I have, um, as a result of this, I mean, I, I don't study UFOs exclusively anymore. You, you have to study it in the broader context of our society. Stop this for a minute.